Hey guys, what's going on? Michael White here, your favorite self-taught developer, and I just had my first ever web developer interview. And <laughs> it was an experience. From start to the, um, I guess we haven't concluded yet, but the start was definitely hot. If you guys didn't know I was already interviewing for my first position, you must not be in our community Discord. Do yourself a favor, jump down to the description box below, join our community Discord, and while you're down there, hit that subscribe button, and let's grow the community. All right, now let's get into it. A couple weeks ago, I started my job hunt. And one of the first things I did was look for positions online and apply to all of them. I applied to every front-end developer position I saw online and I sent out resumes to everyone, right? <laughs> Everything. And I know that may not be the most effective way, but that's how I decided to start. And so a week passes and I get an email from a recruiter wanting to set up a phone interview. Obviously, I'm psyched about it, I'm pumped up, and I accept and we set the scheduled time and boom, things fall into place. Well, the big day comes and our time slot arrives. We were scheduled from like 1 to 1.15 and 1 o'clock hits. I'm all ready. I've been Googling stuff the whole afternoon, like getting ready for the questions he might ask me during his phone screening and there's only one problem. There was no phone call, <laughs> all right? So now it's like 1.10 and I'm starting to sweat like, oh man, is he not going to call me? Is he busy? What do I do? So I start thinking like maybe I should send him an email. Let me double check the phone number. So I look at my resume that I sent out to everybody, to every job I applied for, and there's a typo in the phone number. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so all those resumes I sent out were pretty much a wash because there's a typo in the phone number. I would have been so pissed if I missed out on that opportunity because of a typo, right? I wasn't about to let a typo stop me. So immediately I sent him an email, like letting him know there's a typo in my resume and gave him my updated phone number but I didn't get a reply. So I was like, what else can I do? How can I get a hold of this man? So I decided to look him up on LinkedIn, right? <laughs> so I type in his name on LinkedIn and there he was for the same company that, you know, I applied for. So I hit him up on LinkedIn, letting him know what happened, just being honest about the situation. And uh, he hit me back and was like, yeah, let's get a call going at, uh, later on this afternoon, All right? He told me he was in a meeting or something and he totally like, overlooked our um, original appointment. I don't know if that's true or not, but either way, taking that risk and deciding to message him on LinkedIn, that was the best move I could have made. Paid off huge. If you guys don't have a LinkedIn, go make one for situations just like this. I don't even know how to use LinkedIn. I have like nine connections, but you know what? The one time I needed it, it was there. But we had our first phone interview and it was pretty typical. He did bring up the job I was currently working at, which was not on my resume, but only on my LinkedIn. So he definitely like scoped out my profile on LinkedIn, for sure, 100% for sure. But uh, he asked about my experience and I was honest and open about everything. And he's like, well, that's okay. Everybody starts somewhere, right? And from there, he decided to schedule an interview for me with the uh, chief operating officer, we'll call him Jay, uh, for the very next day, right? The very next day. So I get home from work, I'm freaking out, I'm panicking, <laughs> looking up like, every web developer interview thing I could find on YouTube, on, on Google, I was searching everything, questions they ask. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know if it was gonna be technical. I didn't know if it was, I, I didn't know. You know what I mean? The unknown is the most terrifying thing ever. I just didn't know anything. Didn't know what to expect, nothing. So after a night spent laying in bed, anxiously awaiting the next day, and then a whole morning of like watching videos and interview prep, the interview time rolled around. And so I jump in the team meeting and the first thing he says to me is, so I watched your YouTube video. <laughs> now this is awesome. Cause at this point, I knew that he knew my level of experience. So there wasn't gonna be any surprises, you know what I mean? So instantly I felt like completely relieved. And I thought it was pretty cool. He took time out of his day to watch my YouTube videos. That was pretty cool. So we had a really cool icebreaker. And then from there I interviewed with him and one of his front end developers. We'll call them J and L. And before we jump into the interview, J and L were both awesome. I was so nervous going into that interview and that was pretty much the best that I could ever hope for, for a first developer interview. Like no matter how the whole process turns out, that was one of the best experiences I've had so far. I learned a lot from the interview and they were, they were really easy to interview with. They were a joy to talk to, honestly. But the interview followed typical fashion. Um, and Jay explained what the company does, you know, how it started, what their goals are and then kind of explain what my role in the company would be if I was to work there, you know, typical interview stuff. And then he asked personal questions, you know, why are you interested in coding? 
what got you into coding, what made you start, um, why are you interested in working for our company, all the basic questions, right? And I just, you know, for those, I just answered honestly. You guys, if you guys have been watching my videos, you, you know, <laughs> you guys know the reasons. From there, they took a look at my portfolio and my projects and they kind of let me know what they were looking for experience wise. Like they wanted to see um, websites that were already in production, you know, deployed websites that are being used right now. As you guys know, if you've been following my channel, everything I'm building for companies is still kind of in the process of being built. So I didn't have anything that was live and running, right? And um, so just to see where I stand and see my experience, they assigned me a take home project to build a home page using their web platform, which uses JavaScript, HTML, CSS, and Bootstrap. They didn't try to skill check me. They didn't try to give me like some ridiculously hard problem or, you know, um, didn't do, they didn't even do a technical interview. I'm guessing it's either the position that I applied for or the fact that they knew my experience level going into it. That was it. They just gave me that take home project and then we'll see where we go from there. Now the front end developer I was interviewing with, <laughs> she emphasized keeping things simple. So I'm guessing she wasn't all enamored with the, uh, <laughs> with my portfolio. If you guys have seen it, there's a lot of animations on my portfolio. She was like, keep it simple. You don't need that many animations. Very simple homepage. That's the goal right now. That's where I'm at in the process. So I spent the weekend on their platform, kind of familiarizing myself with their, their code base and like, from what I can see are their processes and kind of how they build things in their flow. And it was hard at first, man. <laughs> it took, it took some, uh, it took some time to really figure out. I had to build bad page after bad page after bad page. <laughs> like, well, they were terrible. But now I kind of have a gist of what's going on. And they didn't give like a hard deadline for, you know, the um, the project to be completed. But I'm, I'm going to try to get it in by the end of this week. So if you guys are watching, it'll be in by the end of this week, by the latest, like next Monday. It's a pretty cool project. I have never had to read somebody else's code base before and work within like their parameters. I usually just jump into it how I, how I want to do it. You know, I do things how I want to do. But it's a little different doing it in somebody else's parameters. And... It was hard at first, but I'm learning. You have to read a lot more. You really have to read and understand their code. And that's just, it's a whole new thing for me. So I'm easing myself into it. And I'm a lot more comfortable now than I was like at the start of the weekend or three days ago. So that's pretty cool. That's where I'm at now with the interview process. Uh, and regardless of how it turns out, I learned a ton from this interview, right? I learned that simpler is better as far as everything goes, because uh, the front-end developer didn't sound too, <laughs> too happy with my animations. Uh, I learned that if I want my projects to count and to actually be worth something, you know, as far as the interview goes or experience, I need to actually deploy them and get them working and get them set up. You know, I need to make them, they need to be done, period, right? That's how I'm going to make them count. And third, I learned that it's not as scary as I was hyping it up in my head. Maybe it was my military experience. I don't know. I thought it was going to be way harder than it actually was. But uh, Jay and L did an awesome job again. It was a great process. I learned a lot either way. No matter how this shakes out, I've learned a ton and I'm definitely pre more prepared for the next one. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up there. I will be posting updates as far as this whole process goes and you know my little take home project and what they say after I turn it in and sharing it with you guys. Discord will always know first. So if you guys haven't joined the Discord yet, do go down there and join that. And again, subscribe to the channel. Let's grow the community out here. And I know I said my uh, developer job hunt part two video would be out this week, but I had to make a choice between this and that video. I only have time to edit one, and I thought this video would be a little more relevant. So hope you guys enjoy it. Web developer part two will be out next week, and I'll see you guys in the next one, all right? Peace. Bye. Bye. Bye.